hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to learn about the few date function which is available in a PySpark it is a very much important from a data analysis or from a data manipulation perspective generally in a real world you will get a scenario where you have to find out the last seven days a last 30 days last year sales this kind of the scenario generally we get in that scenario what actually we do from current date we try to subtract the seven days we try to subscribe the last 30 days we try to subscribe one month three months five months six months so for that we have a different date function which is available in a pie spark that actually we are going to see in this particular video the first one is the date add suppose we have given one uh, date suppose my date is uh, 0701 so this is the date i have given now my requirement is like i want to add a uh, seven days here then in this case what actually i can use i can use a date add function and i can pass this uh, 2024 whatever the date i have or whatever the column we have and i can add like if i have to add a seven days then i will write seven in this case the seven days will be added here similarly we have a date sub with the help of the date sub we can subtract it suppose you have to subtract any number like suppose from this particular date if you have to subscribe 7 days or 30 days then what actually you can use you can use a date sub function now we have a date difference suppose two dates are given so one date is 0 8 and the second date is this one now if, if these two date if you have to subtract then what actually we can use we can use a date dip function suppose you have to find out the year of the particular date in this case you can see from this particular date if you want to know what is the year 2024 if you want to know this particular details then we have a year function available if you want to know the day of year returns the day of the year with the we have a day of year function we have similarly we have a month function hour function second function day of month function these are the functions are very much important which we should know so let's do a practical and let's understand so I have one data you can see with this data actually I am creating one data frame so this is the data frame I have in this data frame I have a date column in this date column we will try to add a day we will try to add a month we will try to get the year details we will try to get our details so all the things we are going to perform in this particular data frame so first we will see about the date add function so first we have to import from the library so what we have to write from PySpark dot sql dot function import import a star if you will write then it will import all the library now what actually we will read we will use uh, our data frame df dot select i will do i will i want one column date column whatever we have as it is so i am selecting date column now i am adding a 30 days on this particular date column so what i will write if you have to add any day then we will use a date add function in this date add function first we will pass date column in this date column i want to add a 30 days so i write 30 and after that dot so if i will do now if i will execute so you can see we have a date 2023 3 15 30 days got added and this is the new date i am getting so from the given date if we had to add any date then we can use a date add function now let's see if we had to subtract from the given date then what actually we can use so for that way we have a date sub function date subtract function so what we can write here suppose we have to subtract seven day from the given date then what we will write df dot select date column now i want to subtract so i will use a date sub function i will pass the date column from this particular column i want to subtract seven days so first i will write date column comma seven seven days i want to subtract dot so if i will do if seven days should be subtracted you can see this was the given date now we have subtracted seven days so this is the new date we are getting uh, you can see this is not coming in a proper column format right so for that what we can use we can use the alias also to use the alias what actually we can uh, write dot alias date or new date any name you can give you can see this is the new date 
so we have seen like if we had to add seven days 30 days or any date then we can use a date add if we had to subset then we can use a date sub function now let's see about date difference so we have a date difference function also available so suppose uh, two dates are given and if you have to subtract that then what actually we can use you can use that a uh, date diff function so let me create a df1 from this particular data frame now if i'll do df1 dot so so this is the new data frame i have i have a two column one is the date column another is the new date now let's see if we had to subtract these two column then what actually we can use we can use a df1 dot select we will use date column as it is and also we want to see new date column also as it is and after that we want to subtract so for subtracting what we will use date diff and we will pass the date column comma new date new date if i'll do this and if i will do dot so so you can see with the help of the date div function we should be able to get the uh, difference you can see in this date and this date we have a seven days difference so that's what i am getting output from this date to this date we have a seven days difference so that's what we are getting so if you had to subtract any two dates then what actually we can use we can use a date div function now next is the year suppose you have to find out the year from the given date then what actually you can use we can use a year function so if i show you df1 dot select i'll use the date column on this date column i want to find out the year so what i will write year and the date call so if i'll use this i'm just writing year and date call if i use dot so in this so you will get the year from the given date you can see 2022 is a year right so that i am getting suppose you have to find out the month then what actually you will write instead of year you can write a month now once you write a month you will get the month of the you can see this is the third right so i am getting a third output this is third month right so i am getting a third output similarly if you want to find out the uh, other thing like suppose day of year day of year if i will do you can see what is the day of year it is the 74 from the given uh, calendar like it is the 74 difference so from the given 2022 it is the 16 days difference so that is what we are getting a day of year now let's see what else uh, we have we also can find out the hour second day of month these are the things are possible with the help of this so i hope you got the idea so this is how actually we can do a data manipulation this is very useful whenever you will perform any data analysis operation and whenever you have to deal with a uh, a data cleaning operation and whenever you have a date column then we can use this other different date function which is available so i hope you got the idea that's it in this video thanks